Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our top five bourbon hunting tips. Let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the video, like this channel, and drop some comments down below. What are some tips you have for others watching this video as well? It's always great to share uh, with this community. Check us out over on Patreon as well. We do a lot of cool giveaways, everything we drink that month, including this Weller 12. A sample of it will be uh, up in our sample lottery. Matt, everybody always has. How do you guys get all of those bottles behind you? Yep. And you know what? There is a whole bunch of ways. And mm -hmm. we work our asses off to get them. Absolutely. Right? The very first number one thing is, though, is relationships. And, and there's multiple relationships, right? Yeah. The very first one is... Your bank account. Yeah, which is a very hard relationship. Um, but no, store owners, right? You go in, you talk to the owners, you know, and, and I'll tell you this much. I've made some great friends doing this stuff, right? We'll, we'll sit there, we'll talk, and then you, they'll be like, oh, hey, by the way, um, you know, I got this special barrel coming in. I was only able to get half a barrel pick, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Ends up being one of my most favorite barrels ever. Yep. You know, and, and he held one aside for me, you know? So you get you do get some inside you know, knowledge sometimes, you do get some insights about delivery dates, you get you get a lot of inside information, which will help you with the relationship. I mean, you gotta obviously, it's a two way street, you know what I mean? You buy yeah. alcohol from them, support their local business, right? So support yeah. local business, I think is a great thing. Then there's also relationships just in the bourbon community, right? There's a lot of people, Pat, that, um, like Greg from Ass, uh, you know, he's right oh, down, right down the road. Hookup. Huge, huge hookup, right? He got us a Weller full proof, um, the the 100 proof store pick of Old Forester mm -hmm. that we've never even seen, like tons of stuff. Did you know, he's like a Loppy or something too. Or um, he got us something else, didn't he? He's, he's got us a, a bunch of bottles. Yeah. But the thing is, is no matter what, um, out of everything that we end up getting, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and it goes both ways too, right? Like we get special bottles that sometimes he can't get, and it's a back and forth thing, and having that relationship with people is going to do probably the best things for you because be, he'll be like, hey, by the way, there's three places dropping Weller Full Proof. And I'll be like, oh shit, like awesome. You know yeah. what I mean? Try to get the heads up so we can get down there, get in line and do all that stuff. So Pat, relationships definitely was number one. Number two, lotteries, right? You gotta understand who gets the allocated stuff and understand their process for them. Yep. Almost all of them do some sort of lottery system. The state that we're in with New Hampshire, they do a lottery stuff to give away all their good stuff. And I think a lot of the, the only states do that. Like yep. Ohio, all those types of places too. Yep, that's the only way you're going to get any of the truly allocated stuff in New Hampshire yep. is via that lottery. That's the only way that they give that stuff out. Um, you know, a lot of places we do in Massachusetts, they'll do uh, a yearly lottery as well and you have to do things in order to get ways to enter into the lottery Buy so store you need picks to, and stuff yeah, yeah you have to figure out what is needed in order to get into the lotteries and then you have to get in the lotteries like that's the biggest way you're going to get an opportunity to buy these bottles yeah and you don't want to stack it all into one lottery try to get as to many as possible you know what i'm saying yep make your odds better uh, sometimes it's hard if you got to buy store picks, you know what I'm saying, to get like tickets to do it, which is what a lot of places are sort of doing now. Yep. It, but you know, it, it sucks it's worth to it to do in the that, but you're also, it's making sure that those, they, you know, they have your business. business. Exactly. Yeah, they got to, they got to, they have they to have sell to move so much product to get the in order. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, number three, Pat, and I think number three is probably the, the biggest one. This is no, no particular really order. Yeah. But number three is huge social media, right? Yeah. And in multiple ways. One, Find the stores that you like on Facebook, on Instagram, on all that stuff, and subscribe to them and yeah. follow them. Because what do they do? Well, a lot of them put it up there. And set your alerts. So, like, one of them, Definitely set I have, you know, they always do, you know, flash sale, and they have an online app you can buy from. So, I have it alert me whenever they post anything, so that way I can immediately go, oh, wait, oh, quick, and I can jump yeah. right Within on the app and buy it. Within five minutes, they're sold out. Ten minutes, max. Yep. So we got our thing. You have to set that alert when they post. Yep. And it's obnoxious sometimes because you'll get a lot of alerts. They're not all, trust me. No. They are not anywhere all related to bourbon. There's going to be a lot of just regular beer and other beer stuff. And stuff. But yep. you know what? It's worth it for when the bourbon ones drop because we have gotten some killer bottles. Absolutely. Thanks to that. And the other thing, Pat, on social media is, is there's a ton of... 
Facebook groups out there, right? Mm -hmm. And there is bourbon finder groups, right? And usually it'll be in your area. So you could be like Ohio bourbon finder or New yep. England bourbon finder, right? And then there's, you know, individual states that people like, and that's how it used to be in New Hampshire. Before the whole backdoor deal thing happened in New Hampshire about a year ago, um, we used to be able to get tons of bottles in New Hampshire because what would happen, they would go out to the stores and then people would be like, oh, by the way, E.H. Taylor just dropped. Boom. You set your alert up on that group. Every time that group had a message, guess what? We got an alert. We go right to the liquor store. We were able to usually get one. Yeah. Obviously, the backdoor deals nixed all that out, which took away probably half of our good bottles that we were able to find. Yeah, New Hampshire's process just sucks now. Um, but the groups in your area do the same. You know, you can do the exact same thing in your area, wherever you're from. You live in Florida, mm -hmm. just search up Florida Bourbon Finder, Bourbon Searching, whatever. Yeah, and you'll Bourbon find something. Club even. Yeah. State clubs, all that type of stuff. Yep. And sometimes, you know, certain clubs you can have access to by, um, you know, they'll do picks that you can get. So it's not just looking for the Pappy and looking, it's just getting some good bourbon. And I think this, that goes into number four, Pat, which is your bourbon yep. clubs and your email lists and all that type of stuff, right? Yeah. So Total Wine's a great one. Yep. You know what I mean? You Yeah, you go in, you sign up for their list, they'll end up sending, you know, things out or whatever about certain bottles. Um, but, like, up here we have, like, the 1940 Barrel Society yep. that we're part of. And we can buy store picks from there and get access to other bottles that are limited releases. Yep, and you have to be part of them in order to get into their lottery system. Yeah, so without that, you're, getting, you're one, getting into the lottery, and two, you're getting some of the allocated bottles or have a chance to get the allocated bottles, whether it was from a lottery yep. drawing or they'll just say, hey, first, whatever, 200 people that email in, you have a chance to get the bottle. Yep, and it sucks because you have to pay to get into the club, but... In the end, it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. I mean, we've how many bottles have we got? And then they've been great bottles, too. Yeah. Their store picks have been great store picks. Except for all the big ones. I'm still O for all the big ones. Uh, you're O for basically every lottery, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they do, like, an Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel Lottery, oh, I'd 100% win that because, I mean, that doesn't mean shit. Because we don't even need it. Yeah. we got, like, four yeah. of them just sitting here right now, like, waiting. Um, yeah. But, and then, Pat, the very last one, and this one yeah. comes through more... Um, relationships but you could also do it just by getting out to the stores right is distribution dates right like i knew that every certain day the buffalo trace drop happened yeah and so I we, had my little honey hole that i would go to and get my evil yep. rare and everything else yeah we knew it was once a month it was a specific day of the month that it would happen and you know or a specific specific week i yep. should say in the month and that's when we would show up that morning. And most time it was in the morning. Sometimes we'd miss it and they wouldn't put it out till the afternoon. But it was always that day. And it was usually, yeah, usually and within you, a couple hour window. Yep. So as long as we were within that window, we had the potential for goodness. Yep. And again, you're only going to find that by showing up and, and kind of seeing when things are going in and out and, and talking to people. Being polite as you're talking. Don't be that annoying the fuck douche. who's going to show up there and just be like, oh, you got the pappy? No, they're not going to have pappy. No, he's just going to have pappy sitting on the freaking... On the thing, I the literally went into or, a store and the guy's like, "Hey, what are you looking for?" I'm like, I'm, "I'm, I don't know. I'm just looking for some different bottles. I got a whole bunch of them. Want to try some new stuff? Um, you know, seeing seeing what what other bottles you might have that other people don't." He's like, "Oh, do you want a Pappy? Because he had one up on the shelf for like eight hundred dollars." And I'm like, "Yeah, no, I don't want Pappy." But like a lot of people go in and they just want that. That's all they care about. Like, yeah. I want Pappy. I want well, Weller. Lands. I want E. H. Taylor. I want Blands. Yep. And yeah. and then they're douche. They don't buy anything else. They just walk out of the store. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll go around. I'll buy other things. I'll buy store picks. I'll buy other bottles that I haven't found. But you, can, you can at least be, just be nice and just be like, yeah, you know, I'm just I'm out looking for some stuff. Do you have some good recommendations? Yep. And have a little conversation and then throw it in there. You don't have to just walk in and just, you know, with some attitude and, hey, do you get this? No? All right, whatever. Bye. Yep. So. So, anyways, those are our top five tips that we've used to get a lot of the bottles that we have. Um, you know, you can take all the tips. There's a bunch of other tips out there online and, you know, find what works for you. But there's a ton of good bottles. You just got to work a little bit to get them. And next thing you know, you'll have a great collection as well. Absolutely. Anyways, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel, watching us and helping our channel along. We hope you guys all have a great day.